Hello everybody, and today we're going to be making a an alien. Uh, I'm just going to be making the alien head in this uh, video, so it's part one of the series. So in the next video we'll be making the tentacles. So I'm going to put tentacles as the legs on this uh, particular sculpt. It's sort of inspired by the alien in Invaders from Mars. Um, sort of, uh, well, it is an early 1950s science fiction film which I watched when I was a kid. I've seen it a few times since then as well. So um, any fans of that film might like this video. Well, oh, that's my interpretation of the aliens. It does look a bit different. I've got some reference photos that I use throughout the video and I'll try and flash them up on the screen when they're relevant. So anyway, I'm making the armature here. I'm not sure if we call... Um, this thing that I'm making, the foundation and armature, it's all made out of uh, recycled bits and pieces like carrier bags as you can see there, stuffed into plastic cups. So I try and use what's around the house if I can to uh, use um, in arts and crafts or whatever and of course in this sculpture. So anyway, I'm waffling on a bit. So. Uh, as you can see there, I've stuffed in the plastic bags into those plastic cups and I'm using masking tape to tape everything together. So what I want to do is just build up a basic shape and then we can apply clay and start uh, forming the model or the sculpture. So I'm just drawing out a rough sketch there as well on a piece of paper. I'm trying to get my dimensions right and uh, see what he roughly looks like or he or she, or whatever the alien's sex or gender is. Looks like a bloke. Anyway, so here we are, I'm putting more bits and pieces onto the armature or foundation and uh, stuffing in bits of plastic and old plastic bags, trying to form a little bit of a face feature. I'm using old bits of Millie put there. I'm just putting that around the base just to give it a bit of stability. Um, I tried to screw in the base but that didn't work so I just put that epoxy um, putty just on the base just to use that really. I'm just using that bits and pieces so obviously anybody can use whatever they like just to get that basic shape or form. So there I'm sort of uh, putting a bit more package on the back of the head just to bring that out more you know this your skulls your skull sort of protrudes from the back of your head so uh, the more we can put down at this stage the less clay we'll need um, for sculpting so I'm using monster clay to uh, make the sculpt and monster clay is quite expensive so uh, the less you use the better from a financial point of view. So there we are, more supermarket bags. Better to stick them in this model rather than uh, for them to be wasted. Bread bags, all kinds of stuff, whatever I can get my hands on. So I'm taking my time. Obviously the video's speeded up taking my time to uh, get a basic shape. And just sketching in uh, some rough details on the face, just roughly, just to see where I'm at. And uh, we can build upon that. Not sure why I put that foil on the top. I think I was trying out foil as well, but it didn't work um, at this stage. And I left it on there. Foil is quite good to use as well because you can shape it. It's quite easy to shape. Or relatively easy to shape. So there we are, just using the mask and tape. Obviously cutting them into pieces and using that to keep everything in place. More sketching there, just to see where I am. Measurements. Just to see where the eyes 
mouth and chin are, are situated. So I'm using a bit of foil there. Um, that was to uh, extend the mouth, I think. So I'm using an old magazine paper thing, those freebies that come through the door. So I'm using that to uh, pack out the bottom half of the armature there, or foundation. Scrunching it up and just taping it in with the masking tape, as you can see. It's quite a good idea to uh, spend your time on your base. Prepare your base and it, I think it makes it easier for when you put the clay on top of the foundation or armature. So there we are, pretty much there, with the armature. Just taping everything in place, fixing it down. And now I've got a pasta machine, which I will roll the monster clay into, and we'll get nice sheets of clay to apply to the armature. So that's set on the lasagna setting, so you've got lasagna clay there, or clay lasagna. So there I am applying the clay. I've slightly heated up the monster clay to make it easier to work with on the model, on the armature. And we're just adding bits of clay, put down that uh, first layer. And we'll just add bits of clay as we go and build up the form form that I'm looking for. So it might look a bit rough first of all but that's okay. Just keep building and refining basically. So just concentrate on the head there. look more alien-like. You know, these aliens are supposed to have big brains, so we put a bit more on that frontal cortex area. Of course, I've just put a little definition where the eyes are going to be. Also. And just continue building it up. building up the face features there, as you can see. I use that cup just to measure uh, where I am at, just to use it as a reference type of thing to see where I am with the face measurements. I'm building up the mouth and nose area. So this stage is kind of like, I've got some reference material, of course, um, but uh, it's sort of like improvising, really. Just to get those shapes. Also looking at some, you know, some sort of basic anatomy using, I've got, like I said, some reference around. Well, I've actually pasted reference onto the uh, wall so I can use that to see where things are. I've got some casted skulls as well, which show the shape of a head. And obviously with an alien, you can exaggerate that form to uh, make it more alien-like. So they're sort of taking shape now. that frontal cortex area.
So at a moment, um, I had a pair of sunglasses lying about, so I used the lenses in the sunglasses to uh, make the eyes. So you got that smoothness on the lens, so when we get round to moulding and casting this sculpture, it's got that nice, it'll pick up that nice smooth, smoothness of the lens. The lenses are kind of like a sort of pearlescent mirror lens where you'll see in a moment, so it actually looks quite good on the sculpt, I think. So this, once this sculpture's moulded, uh, probably mould it in uh, silicon and make resin casts. It'd be nice to get a concrete cast out of this uh, sculpt, but um, that might be a little bit difficult. A resin cast might be easier. Well, it probably will be easier. So now just smoothing things out. Trying to build the form up more. So the, where the clay is shiny, that's where it's been heated up. So I heat it up in the microwave just for a minute or two, um, just to make it softer. So there's the glasses, take the lenses out, and then I'll insert them into the eyes, the eye sockets. Just peel that clay away. And stick the lenses in those eye sockets. So work on it some more. Just keep moulding and refining and here we are at this stage here so I think that's looking alien-like and we're just going to refine it more now with some tools. We've got some wrinkle reference there and some vein reference. So we'll just apply some subtle, uh, subtle wrinkles and we'll put some veins on the forehead also. So just sort of using a, an assortment of tools, pointy tools and all kinds of stuff. You can use whatever you like, you need a special uh, clay sculpting tools or whatever's suitable around the house really. Spoons, ends of spoons and all that type of thing. So I'm just scraping away the clay there, making some wrinkle grooves into the um, sculpt, and now I'm applying some worms of clay, which are going to blend into the forehead, and uh, looking for those worms blended in to represent veins on the forehead, protruding veins. tool I'm using there is like a dental tool. What dentists use, I don't know where I got those from, but uh, it's quite handy for sculpting. <coughs> so I'm just taking my time refining everything now. some subtle wrinkles into the neck also. And defining the neck some more at the front there, as you can see. Using bigger worms of clay just to define that neck some more. And we use naphtha, which is like lighter fluid, to... Um, and to smooth out the clay and the details. You want to use a mask when you're using naphtha also, or a respirator, because it's quite uh, stinky and not very good for you, of course. I had the windows open here, so um, there's a draft coming through the house and I didn't have a mask on. But you want to use a mask, really. So there I am, just brushing in the naphtha, smoothing out the area, smoothing out the clay. A 
It'd be good to find an alternative to Naphtha, to be quite honest. Something a little bit um, more safe, not so fumey. So there we are, that's the sculpt at this stage. Smoothed out with some Naphtha, and now we'll apply some texture. I'm just working on the veins some more there. What I will do shortly, as you will see, uh, is use a paintbrush to put in some texture for the skin to sort of simulate a kind of um, pore effect, pores in the skin. So there I'm going over with a bit of naphtha again. So there we are with a paintbrush, household wall paintbrush. And just stippling in some texture. I go over this twice. I actually tried a toothbrush as well, but that didn't really work so well. I was trying to sort of ha use the toothbrush as a hammer, an old toothbrush. Just sort of hammer in some texture, but the uh, hand paintbrush worked better. So there, more naphtha again. Just to dissolve that layer on top. Just kind of subtly dissolves that top layer. Some more stippling with the paintbrush. I like to build up layers. I think it looks more authentic when you do build up layers instead of just doing one layer. So there I'm trying out the paintbrush, but it didn't really work that well. So, I mean, obviously you can't really see the texture on the video, but when I get around to making the cast, I'll hopefully make the uh, casts easier to paint and maybe pick up the texture when I get around to making the resin casts to paint. So just using a the hairdryer there. Um, I don't really know why I did that really, to be quite honest. I thought I saw try and sort of blend things in together but I don't think it made much difference. So there we are, there's the head finished and in the next video we'll attach the tentacles to the uh, bottom of the head. So there we are, that's it for now. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching and over and out for now. <laughs>